<laughs> Good morning everybody and welcome to the 11 o'clock stream from Plowcraft. I hope you're all well and not so cold today. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of foiling with the foil quill. <laughs> oh. Good morning everybody and Hang on. welcome to I forgot to change it. I forgot to change, it. I forgot, I changed the speaker because the speaker's playing up on the monitor. Yeah, so you don't need Natalie to and me doing it twice. It's bad enough once. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do a bit of foiling this morning with the foil quilt. And showing you something I've come up with to help um, when you're doing small pieces of artwork and not having somewhere to tape it and rather than getting foil on your mat this is more of a, a saviour for the day shall we say yeah if you want to do like edge to edge foiling isn't it really yeah. as well hi carol hi lily grace good morning all who else <laughs> we got in the room tracy sarah mom um, hi mom <laughs> design already sent to the machine because I thought I'd be prepared which is more than I usually am when it comes to my streams. I have a backing piece of paper ready for you as well. I'm not using paper. Oh go on. No because I have it cut to size. Okay. So I'm I'm prepared. Oh well, that tells me. <laughs> I cut it to size purposely. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear mommy thought she'd gone deaf. Well, that's dad. <laughs> so I'll switch over onto the scan cut. So I have my pattern. I'm going to pull it down off the cloud and hopefully Natalie hasn't put anything else up there. No, nope, there we go, wonderful. <laughs> so it's filled as well, so I'm going to leave it filled so it fills in all the detail. Do I, want? No, I don't know if I want it to actually. I might just have an outline on this one. I'm just going to edit that, take the fill off. Yeah, I'm going to take the fill off. For yeah. time as well, because otherwise yeah, it takes it forever. Yeah, for just doing that. Now, I've already made my design down to a 2x4 square. Um, I did that in canvas this morning. Uh, so I just shrunk it down to 2x4, just for ease for me. Um, just to make things a little bit easier. So we're going to go over okay. And I've already set it to draw, as you can see, because it's blue. So I remember to do that, which is a good start to the morning. Because <laughs> I know what I'm like. I did it wrong. <laughs> it's usually me that gets it wrong, though, to be fair. <laughs> I forever forget to change it. <laughs> and we're going to go draw. It's going to tell me how long it's going to take. Two minutes, that's not too bad. No. What are you doing? It's okay. I was, I was zoomed in and it is zoomed to it. You know, so, I'm going to swap back to the other camera. So first things first, I'm going to plug in my foil quill and get that warming up. Come on, foil quill. There we go. That's lit up and it's warming up. So I'll pop that on there. And pop that somewhere safe for a moment. So, on my mat. Oh, I need to clean one. I know, I keep cleaning it. Hair on it. I don't want to put hair on it. Is that my piece of foil on it? Should we have to put it on the side? That's just taking the bits off. We'll try that way around because that way at least fitted in for you yesterday. So I can see on my screen it's up in this top quadrant but it's slap bang in the middle so it's one square off the top so it's around here on my mat my two by four now the trouble with that is if I want to put foil in it means I'm gonna have to put foil around my design so what I came up with was a really simple but effective design so I know it's in the middle so I have this little jig that I can put round my 2 by 4 So just 
line it up and stick it to my mat. So there we go. So now I think, well, my design is in the middle. And now you're thinking, well, how does that alleviate the problem? Because you've still got this issue around the side. And I thought about this. A lot. As you do. <laughs> Tracy says it's a jig. Are you dancing again, Ian? Yeah, I'm <laughs> dancing again. <laughs> so, I came up with little struts, which you can then slot in. Sides and they stick down obviously because you're on a sticky mat. And you can get them in each side. Because <laughs> you can see the uh... Because you, you, you tend to be just like you are. Know. Oh, don't stop doing that. Yeah. Now I know these fit because they were cut size and these are all one inch thick. But these are only just cut out of card. A big piece in there. And then you piece in the bottom. So there you have your frame that you can now attach your tape to. And in the centre, we can put my piece of card. And now I know that when I put my piece of foil over the top, that it's definitely going to be not on the mat, and it's going to be on my feet. the machine. So I'm going to load my mat. I hope it's going to load nice and straight for me today. Oh my god, it's inside. Oh, pack it in. <laughs> Let's try it up the other way. I can always uh, just move the design to fit me. Come on. Uh, oh, it's because uh, you're trying to do it upside down. No, I tried it the other way up and it still didn't work. I tried it up the right way first. Take it away from it a minute. How many hands does he take? <laughs> <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Again, that. Alright. <laughs> I'm in the background scan, catch when it comes through there. That's a beautiful Oh, <laughs> one. Now we can see my design needs to move.
See, I've got my board around the outside, which I can easily tape without worrying about it going on my design. It's just the mat needs a little file, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no files there if you want to use it. <laughs> I'm not telling him that one, Carol. How should you see an end of a stream? <laughs> That's Carol said. <laughs> that would be good, her uh, nieces, great nieces watching. <laughs> Don't upset the Jupiter. <laughs> what did Carol say? it was an alien. <laughs> oh, the design. Yeah. It's actually a dream catcher, but we shan't go there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she says, don't realise it was a dream catcher. It looked like an alien when it was in the far right hand corner. Mm. <laughs> Head hugger. Or <laughs> face hugger or whatever it is. Is this if you don't have a magnetic mat? Yep. Yep. This is going to be ideal if you don't have a magnetic mat, and if you don't have a mat that has no tack on it, because that's our other suggestion, obviously, if you have a, a mat that is completely without adhesive... You don't need the guide. You don't need the guide. But if you have just ordinary mats, which most of us do, this is a great way to uh, resolve the situation of having a sticky. Yeah. So my foil quill is nice and hot, because it's been charging for about 10 minutes now, because <laughs> it took a bit longer than expected. So we're going to press OK. And OK, and draw. It's gone up by a minute, but yeah, that's OK. That's the minute to get down to the bottom of the mat. <laughs> <laughs> Angle that off. 
me uh, stand for a minute so it cools down. Could you use your hook? I can, but I can't really get it on the wrong side, it needs to go the other side now. Uh, that's Best of luck we're getting it on. Mm. So let's swap that back to the overhead cam. I'm brave unloading my mats just so you can see. Take off our tape. Do we have any questions at the moment? Not yet. Lots of cheeky comments, but... Lots of cheeky comments, no questions. <laughs> but Tracy says it's a very good job, Ian. Very impressive. And Sarah Lou says it's a great piece of engineering. Yeah, there you go. The question is now whether we charge for it or it's free. Your invention up to you. So, we can take the foil off. Well, I should just off a little bit of my placement. But yeah doesn't matter because I know it's not going on the map, which is the important thing. You guys like the off, did you? Just a little bit of the top, but... Oh. It's an inch, a millimetre off the top, but, you know, I can cope with that. So, again, the advantage now is I can take my... Take out the way, again, no foil on the map. I can take it away a piece at a time, which gives me nice, easy access. To that centre section. The centre section. I was going to say, why aren't you using the image to so much easier? Uh, we need to do HTV um, next week, well, I think of it, Ian. HTV? Yeah. Okay. Because we've got those two things to do, so we, we can do so HTV there. next week. There we go. I've got to put it in see. this week. There's no mess on the map. <coughs> and there you have a perfect foiled. Yep, the simple ideas are the best. Yep. And it all starts off with a, how can I do that and not make a mess or something? Yeah, so this is ideal for people who've got the CM models. Um, it's a pretty design. Where did you get uh, You said that's for a design? It was a freebie. It was a design yeah. bundle. Yeah, it's from the free craft bundle on design bundles. Oh. Is it from design bundles? Oh, it could be a creative fabrica one. Yeah, but the free craft bundle. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's probably creative fabrica and it's just in the wrong place. Creative fabrica, but there's... Because I moved um, one out the other day. Yeah. It's number 17 on the designs if you are interested in the SVG files. Um, but I have saved it if somebody wants to, to uh, play with it and have a look at it. And that's my little idea that I came up with my creation I should say. Um, I did do that one's a six, uh, four by six because of the um, if you use the foil quill foils they are all four by six so the actual inside rim is a six by four and then we have the struts um, I have um, six inch ones four inch ones I've got one inch two inch three inch so you can adjust it to match all your sizes, 4 inch, 5 inch, up to 6 inch uh, ribs. And I did do a 10 by 10 frame as well. Um, so it rolls. actually fits on your mat as a 12 by 12 sheet with a 10 by 10 inch inside um, cheek cut out. Um, and again I've done the pieces to that so you can actually put a piece in the size of that and then you can do round the edges. I'm, get, I'm gonna get in to do that one filled in as well because I like the design. Yeah, it is a gorgeous design. Just to, it would take forever to put it in. So, are there any questions? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Do you want to quickly show the the big one? Big one. Yeah. So the big one we have, if you can see, if I just lay it on there. Fits on there. 
it's actually 11 by 11 isn't it because it's got an inch in yeah so the inside measurement is 11 inches by 11 inches and I have all the pieces and strips cut so that if you have one that's 10 by 10 you can cut it down that one's a bit big because that was the first one I did which was bigger um, but all the rest yeah originally we did it so we did um, 11 by 11 didn't we yeah but then your outside frame becomes a bit flimsier a bit flimsy so it is 10 by 10 isn't it on the inside yeah um, but I trimmed all the pieces and I cut all the pieces inside as well so again you have a full guide um, for any size for any size and you can basically fit anything in the measurement and it's done on inch inch increments so you have a, a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and I did it again on the reverse so you have the same both sides um, so it gives you that pattern so if there is any, you know, basically any piece of card you could put in, and as long as you've got your, your sticky mat underneath, you can just stick your supports in place, and you can use it anywhere on your mat as well, because you can move it around to suit and sizes as well. Yeah, he's definitely been a very busy bee. Yeah, because there's another one I've done as well, isn't there? So. Yeah. <laughs> That's coming Friday. <laughs> <laughs> So those are that. I mean, these are only cut out of what 250 GSM card was it? I said 210. 210. 210. If that, they're not cut out of anything special, special <laughs> or expensive. It's literally cut out of a piece of 12 by 12 white card, cheap white card. It didn't you know, it didn't have to be expensive white card. Yeah. Um, and they're purely there for support, but it's at least the idea, you know, that it's there as a a way that people who haven't got the magnetic mats, or don't want to shell out 100, you know, 15 quid for a magnetic mat and the magnets. Yeah. You know, it's a nice, cheap, and easy design. And I mean, even if I charge for the the initial file, file it'll be what, a pound, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, and you can cut it as many times, you can cut the inners as many times as you want. So you, have, you could have fill it with 10 by 10s if you wanted to and just mess with the pattern. But, you know, the it's also a good way of making sure that your strips square on the map for doing things like your sentiment strips. Yeah, as absolutely. Well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Natalie's going. I think going to have a play with it later and maybe do some more. Cause she's doing some advanced foiling later, aren't you? Yes, I am. So there you go. I think if if people want the file, um, let us know. Let us know, and I'll charge a pound for the file. It has. I'll put them both in. Carol, on a CM you can do a version of the magnetic mat um, if you if you feel that way inclined. Um, you have to buy the metal sheet from Amazon and then some magnetic tape. Um, but and you still have to wanted, stick it to a mat, don't you? Yeah, you still have to stick it to a mat. And I wanted to uh, give people the opportunity to have an easier way of boiling without having to necessarily shell out. I mean, like I said, I'll put both designs in for the pound. Yeah. And people can have, you know, that design if they want to. Yeah, and we'll try and pop a link up later. Yeah. Um, sort of that. Like I said, it, it, it saves you a not having a mat because you've got a metal mat stuck to it. Because if you do do the magnetic mat, I think you would be looking at permanently uh, Attaching adhering it. it. Because you're not going to want to keep moving it, taking it on and off. Yeah, yeah, and as Sarah Lou just said, if you want to fall and cut, you then have to take it off the magnetic mat to cut it. Yeah, that's what it is, you know. You can leave it in place, yeah. just take the foil off the top, take your shim from around the outside. We well, didn't wouldn't even have to take the shim from around well, the outside. As long as your cut line doesn't go up to your shim, you'll be fine. Yes. I mean, mine was designed literally to go in that two by four so I knew it was two by four so I knew it was going to be tight on that one but yes you but that was the point to prove that it could go right up, right to, up the to the edge, edge. Yeah. and yeah, you I'm can also what, what started it all was doing um, foiling on two patterned paper wasn't it and wanting yes. to go right to the edge rather than having that tiny bit of border that you have where you've got your washi tape over the edge of your foil mm. Yes, because you can get away with just foiling, taping down the two edges. Yeah. Because when we did it, we taped down the two edges that weren't edge to edge, if that makes sense. So 
when we had Friends of Bar on. When I had my jig in the middle here. Um, can you just pass me a sheet that 4x4? Four four? Yeah, sure. Doesn't matter what it is, just one sheet will do. That's okay, there you go. So when well, we had this center. in the centre, it's just off 4x4, four four, so it's a little bit smaller, but again, it doesn't overly matter. Um, I have my two 4 inch, I've got two 4 inch ones gone. Yeah, that's what I'd do. Stick it down with red liner tape to an old mat if I had one, but I don't. Yeah, I mean, not everybody has old mats and not, you know, not everybody wants to the expense of ruining a mat. Yeah, nobody um, has the small collection I seem to have. <laughs> so we had it like that, but rather than, because we didn't want one. this top edge to be missing anything, we taped, put the foil over the top and just taped these edges down here and left the top and the bottom and still foiled it and it did it perfectly. So again, you're giving yourself that leeway that you have an inch border. So as long as your tape is thin, you can put your tape round without sticking it to your mat, sticking it to your mat and getting it on your uh, sheet. So the other option is, of course, because you've got the jig, you could put it in the middle, like so. And that way you could still put your tape round all four sides. But you have the advantage that you can move it around and play with it and put it where you want to put it that works best for you and your tape. Okay. Okay, no more questions. So we'll pop a link up for that. Um, and don't forget, we still have our workshop for this weekend available. Um, and then once we see how many people's join we'll decide whether we're going to do it in a separate group or... We can stay in the group that we created last time, in the workshop group. Oh, we'll, we'll see. It might be easy to start a fresh group just for the layering one. Okay. Yeah. Just see if anybody else... Uh, okay. So, uh, if there's no other questions, thank you all very much for joining me and watching my uh, little creation. <laughs> And uh, don't forget we have Lou with us at 12. 12 and you have Pete at 12.30. Um, we don't have Leslie today at half past one. She's not feeling very well. Oh, I have a question. I have a question. Sarah Lou says, what are the artistics mats like for the DX? Do you want to just quickly wave one In underneath? What sense? What they look like, I presume. What they look like, okay. Yeah, if you can grab one. Yeah. Not one of the ones that's flapping though. We need to swap over the machines as well, don't we, at some point this week? Yeah, so I'm going to do some work on the DX this week, yes. Bear with us, we'll just get one out for you, Sarah Lee. Yes, we are good, oh. oh, what on earth did you do? He's trashing the place. <laughs> My poor mats. Just chuck them on the floor, honestly. So those are DX ones, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. So it's exactly the same um, adhesive. And you. Oh, no, there's two formats to them, so you have the DX mat and there's a DX Duo mat, which Duo can mat. load from both ends. Do you want me to have a look? Is that a DX Duo? Uh, no, that's a, it's the M one because of the dots. That's a DX, isn't it? Yes. So, there you go. And that's your DX mat. So the only real difference in them is the where Markings. the dots are. So the adhesive on them is the same. It's a real delay today between what's on screen. There we go. There we go. So yeah, the, as I said, the only real difference is the the kind of log on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Send him back to work, the craft room be safe. <laughs> so we'll give him a machine and <laughs>
<laughs> oh, no. You're learning, aren't you, sweetie? Supposedly. <laughs> so they keep telling me. <laughs> so yeah, the, I said they're virtually identical. They're only top loading on the moment. They're only top loading, aren't they? I think you, it has you to can, load. You, duo, you, hasn't the, the duo and the duo ones will load from top and bottom. So it's worth paying a little extra for the duo, basically, because it extends the life of your mat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sarah Lou, that's why we laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, she said, my hubby fell out of bed last night and said, what nerve just happened? <laughs> Woke me up and I still can't stop laughing. He was so surprised. <laughs> 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 and Carol said she's just kidding, by the way. <laughs> And so Lou says, thank you, you're doing a grand job. So, do you want me to tell that lost it down here? Yeah, yeah. I might start a fresh one in a bit. Yeah, if it's starting to... Yeah, the other important thing with Max is to not let them get warm. Um, it's quite warm up here, so we don't really have much um, option, do we? But. Yeah, easily done in a king size bed, trust me. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> we digress. So, yeah, we'll be back at two o'clock when Natalie's doing some more foiling, aren't you? Yes. Um, yes, if I get my design finished. <laughs> get the design finished. So that was a really, maybe get a chance to use the bigger rig for yeah. a chance to play. Um, so we'll get a link up on the group if you do want to purchase them, I'll put them up. Or Natalie will put them up for me. Um, I'll set up a, a price tag on them or something. So. Um, and thank you all very much. And I said we're back. Pete's on at no, Lou at twelve. Pete at twelve thirty. No Leslie today because she's uh, not well. Not very well. So I hope you feel better, Leslie. And we'll see you back at two o'clock. Take Bye. care. Bye.